Hey everybody, what's going on? Juan here, back with another retro game video because this time I'm going to be playing The Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Now this was suggested by a friend of the show, The Wizard of Gore, on Twitter. And uh, you may have seen that I had recently played a game involving a ninja called Ninja Senki DX. So now we're going to go way back in time to 1992. Hey Kid Ying, have you heard the news? What are you talking about? You know, about that beautiful girl. Is this a dating sim? You mean the ghost woman of the temple. I love how big the text has to be that we can only see like four words at a time. Something terrible has happened. Zooming into the face. Oh no! Hey, no close. <laughs> oh, I love how they're super aware of uh, what's actually happening. She shouldn't hurt people. That ghost has some nerve. I'll show her that I'm a brave man. So you may notice, like, this game doesn't take itself too seriously. I've actually played a Legend of the Mystical Ninja game, but for the N64, I've never played this one. So thanks to Wizard of Gore for suggesting it, because I've always known about it uh, until... I mean, I knew about it once I played the N64 game. I didn't know that was a sequel or part of a franchise, so... Whoa, okay, uh... So you, you hit like that, you can jump. There's a dude holding a fish. Oh, and this can be played uh, co-op. You see at the bottom right there, press A to join, so... If you're looking for a co-op, uh, a co-op game, this could be something that works and... Are the enemies endless or something? It feels like they're, they keep coming down. Kitty. Kitty. Wait. Was the fish good? I don't know what that does. I have a lot of questions. Am I supposed to go left? Am I supposed to go right? I, I died. Okay. So the one on the N64 is, uh, if you played Quest 64 or even Super Mario, like, it's that kind of 3D game. Like, that's how it kind of looks, so... It seems like that was just a natural evolution of this. Okay, I can't hit her, but I just obtained her. I am a fortune teller. I'll tell you, you are hero of this... You are hero of this story. All right. I accidentally a word there. Aren't you? You will do a good job throughout your long journey. Thank you. All right. That was kind of useless, but sure. And yeah, like the reason that I'm playing this is not just because Wizard of Gore suggested it. Uh, but I've begun reaching out to a couple of uh, the people that have been really supportive of the channel and asking them, like, what do you want What do you want me to play? Because I don't want to just play the games that I grew up playing. Because honestly, then, it's like, it's expected. You know, I want to be able to play a game I've never played before. And at the end of the videos, I, get, I can give my feedback about whether I think that's something somebody else should go back in time. Or maybe it reminds me of another game. And apparently, I am horrible at this. Oh my god. I am terrible at this game. What the hell, man? Where am I even supposed to... Am I done? Okay. Is this just the beginning of the game? Yes. Yes, it is, actually. Also, why is everybody so hostile with me? What, what have I done? Like, now that I think about it... Everybody's trying to attack me. Why? A strange cloud is coming from the north. Can you imagine, like, a Final Fantasy games had this, this small window of text? Uh oh. Hey, Kirby. Like bootleg Kirby. Okay, I just got hit by a piece of turd. Always a good thing. And I guess this is a shop. With all the fuss over the ghosts, nobody's hiring. It's tough times. Tough times, so... Can I get quests there or something? Can I kill Kirby? What? 
kinda. Okay. So I can get some food here. But I'll assume I have no money. I mean, I have 20 bucks, I guess. Everything is delicious here. Would you like something to eat? Holy crap, that's expensive. No, I'm gone. I'm not spending that much money. So as I keep playing this, um, I'm trying to remember if there's any other games on the Super Nintendo that reminds me of this. Like, really, I had a fairly limited experience with the SNES. Like, I, I played it a lot, but it's not like I had this huge library of games and game rentals for me didn't become a normal thing up until the N64 and the PS1. So here I used to play a lot of Mortal Kombat 1, uh, Clay Fighter, which was a terrible fighting game. I used to have Zombies Save My Neighbors, which is a terribly difficult game, but that can be played co-op with... What in the hell is that? This is dangerous territory. Be careful. Proceed with caution. That may be one of the most horrifying faces I've ever seen. And I've seen some things. So now notice how the perspective of the game... It's just now side-scrolling, so I don't know if maybe just like the overworld or the towns, you get the other perspective, and then here... He feels heavy, like heavier than he probably should. That being said, I wish I could have hair like him. I like how vibrant the game looks, I'll say that much. Looks very bright, looks unique, like it doesn't feel like a clone of another game for me. Maybe it is, I don't know, like, if it does visually remind you of another game, definitely let me know. Oh, crap! Holy crap! Okay, I gotta make this jump here. But there's a fire dude. And... Done, done. Is this like a checkpoint? No. Can I... Oh, damn, these jumps! What's this? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hitting that thing. I guess I get through of them? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, an umbrella's coming to attack me. Is that a, an umbrella or a lamp? A lamp umbrella? Well, he's dead now, so whatever. Are you kidding me? Yes, it's dangerous territory. I know. I've gone through this before, man. I've done this. That's one thing. I, another thing I've realized is that it just feels like SNES games are way more unforgiving. Either that or games just as a whole have become a little bit too accessible in some regards. Like, uh, you know, up on the channel is a, a video where I play Bellaborn, and I appreciated the difficulty that that game had where I, I could feel that I was getting better at playing that game. And I get the feeling that once you master this game, you really feel like a total badass playing it. So, you know what? There's something to having a difficult game, having you feel like you're rewarded for improving. So I just keep smashing that. Topic of ninja games, because I did have that Ninja Senki game, which uh, came up for PlayStation Plus a couple of months ago. You can check that out as well right here on the channel. I played some Ninja Gaiden. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ninja-related games that I've really liked. I mean, Final Fantasy Tactics has a ninja class, so that's kind of similar. He's very happy! Oh... I'm getting through at least this first stage. And as I'm mentioning first stages, I should give this person a shout out because it's one of my favorite channels on Vidme. Uh, only level one. He's currently on the journey to play the first level of every NES game. And I've learned that there are some bad games out there for him, so uh, because of him. So I want to thank you because, man, you are a trooper. Oh boy, two health bars left. This is gonna go great. And I have a feeling that if I die, I'm gonna have to start again. 
But I can't hit her. Huh? 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 How do I hit her? What? We're... Huh? Elephant or raccoon? Wait, what, what's the elephant? The raccoon dog is, I think, the thing I saw in the forest, but what's elephant? This is after that, right? This is confusing. Like, who, who does that? Continue. Do you want to continue from the toilet paper or the water supply? Like, what? Okay. This is a weird game, by the way. Like, even in the N64, it was a very... It was very self-aware. And, uh, I should give the N64 game a try again, because I haven't played it since I originally played it 10 to maybe 15 plus years ago, so... I'm going to try my best to conquer this boss, because, like, step one, how do I hit the boss? I don't know how to hit her! Ah! Ah! Yo! I don't know how to hit you! Oh, hell no. Okay. I'm done. I'm done here. Apparently, I suck at this game. And spoiler alert, I'm not the best at most of these classic games. Uh, but so far, my initial impression of this is that I can tell that this is a game that is pretty solid. You know, there's a lot of good things going for it, but I'm too frustrated right now. Maybe I'll give this a shot down the line, but at least we got to see the boss. It's almost like we got through the first stage. I'm just going to say that. I still don't get why people are so hostile towards him. Like, I'm not sure what you did go on to these people where everybody's trying to kill you. Like, you're just standing there. Is he just paranoid? Because if you look, nobody's actually attacking him. He's just being touched by people, and as a result, he starts panicking. So this went not that great, and it may not get any better because one of the next games that I will be playing is Mega Man 2 for the NES, which I've never been able to beat a single stage. I'm a fan of the Mega Man games. I appreciate them. More so the, the Battle Network games on the Game Boy Advance and Mega Man Legends. But if you have any recommendations for any games you'd like me to play on the channel, definitely let me know by dropping a comment. Make sure to follow, upvote, and share. Spread the love. So thank you for watching. And until next time, hopefully I can redeem myself because this has concluded, but the epic journey continues.